Good morning. Um, so I'm sitting here reading in 2 Corinthians, and I'm reading it kind of slow, which um, God multiplies our time, which is awesome. But, you know, there's, there's, okay, so first off, there's absolutely no reason to rush through the scriptures. Um, it's actually more important, and it's more, uh, more food for your soul if you meditate on the scriptures versus rushing through reading them on a time frame. Um, that can be good and if God called you to do that, to read the Bible in a year or in six months or something like that, then do it. Maybe maybe it's for a reason between you and, you and God and the Holy Spirit and uh, the way that he gives utterance and wisdom and knowledge and maybe uh, you need to have that stuff in your head. But for the most part, it's very important also to meditate on the scripture and to read it slowly and to ask the Holy Spirit to come in and, and show you and teach you these things. And, um, and when you receive it, then to just meditate on it and think about it. So anyways, um, I've been reading in, in 2 Corinthians and I'm in chapter 5 right now. And so I just want to... This is not why I'm opening this video, but I'm going to tell you, I have to start with this part. So in chapter 5, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new cre creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And it skips down, and it says that we have been given a ministry of reconciliation. And then it skips down, and it says, Now then, we are ambassadors. Google that if you don't know what it is. We are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading through us, we employ, implore, can't read, you own Christ. Okay, I can read. I shouldn't say that. Power, life, and death is in the tongue. Um, we implore you on Christ's behalf. We reconciled to God, uh, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So I read all of that to lead up to what actually I want to do this quick study on. Um, so first off, we have a ministry. As being Christians, we have a ministry um, to, we have to reconcile, to be, to be the person that goes before and pleads on the behalf of God for them to reconcile their life with God and become one and not be not be um, against each other but to be for um, each other and so it uh, sorry um, in chapter 6 it goes on to say and so this is the thing is that we have no excuses like, if you're a Christian, you should consider yourself uh, to have a ministry to go make disciples, to spread the word of Jesus Christ, to, um, that's it, there you go, spread, spread the word to the world and show the love, uh, share the fruit of the Spirit, to have the evidence of the fruit of the Spirit. Um, and so we have no excuses. And I loved this verse when I read it. It's kind of long, but I'm going to read it to y'all. And it's like such an eye opener. If you didn't have one before, you're going to have one when you finish this message. I promise. Okay. So you can read it yourself if you want, if you want to turn the video off and read it yourself because I'm totally boring you. Um, it's second Corinthians six. And so read that six one through it kind of all the way goes down to 10 but then honestly if you read the whole chapter it's really awesome so but i'm about to read 10 10 verses so it says okay it says we then as workers together with him with god also plead with you not to receive the grace of god in vain for he says, in an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We give no offense in anything that our ministry may not be blamed, but 
this is the key but in all things for real in all things we commend ourselves as ministers of god and then it's going to list the, all the things so just remember it every single one of these we have to be ministers of god we have to represent represent god in all these things in much patience in tribulations in needs in distresses in stripes in imprisonments in uh, tumults i don't even know what that means in <laughs> labors in sleeplessness in fastings by purity by knowledge by long suffering by kindness by the holy spirit by sincere love by the word of truth by the word of power by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left hand by honor and dishonor by evil report and good report as deceivers and yet true as unknown and yet well known as dying and behold we live as chastened and yet not killed as sorrowful yet always rejoicing as poor yet making many rich as having nothing and yet possessing all things and then verse 11 says oh corinthians with an exclamation mark <laughs> oh corinthians we have spoken openly to you our heart is wide open you are not restricted by us but you are restricted by your own affections now in return for the in, now in return for the same i speak as to children you also be open do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship has righteousness with lawfulness and what communion has light with darkness so anyways just keep that in mind today as you're going through uh your regular scheduled friday happy friday and uh just remember that we are ministers of god and we need to share the gospel um but we also need to know the gospel so please open up your bible today and read something and ask the lord to show you what it is ask the lord to teach you um by way of the holy spirit and uh and if you just really truly feel like you don't understand the scriptures then um seriously start in proverbs because those are pretty basic it um for the most part they mean exactly what they say it's you know there's not a lot of parables or anything like that start in second start in first corinthians 13 4 through 7 and when it talks about love love is patient love is kind does not envy it does not boast it is not rude it's not proud it's not self-seeking does not delight in evil but rejoice in the truth and that's pretty simple so read that every day until god gives you something else and revelation and understanding for something else i'm just saying at the very least you can find a few scriptures in the bible which i mean most of it's not even parable so read the genealogy um if you are saved then the holy spirit lives within you you still need to be baptized in the holy spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues but if you're saved and you receive jesus christ your lord and savior then you have the holy spirit within you and the more you're going to be able to hear him is by the relationship that you have with him and you can grow that by opening the bible and reading it so y'all have a good day and uh nine minutes of uh my silly facial expression so good luck with that but uh i'll talk to y'all later bye